Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself uh, Vijayta Vardhan and in this video lecture session we are going to discuss how to solve a problem on isometric projections and an example is like this, the following figure shows the front and side views of the solid, draw the isometric projections of the solid. So according to the figure one can see that we have a square which is portioned vertically uh, which is having a thickness of uh, 30 millimeter which is going to be a square slab and horizontal cylinder of diameter 35 millimeter is uh, having a length of 40 millimeter is going to be positioned over that. Now let me show you how to construct this square first. Now using a line command with thickness of 0.13. Now we know that the height of this uh, square is of 70 millimeter at an angle of 90 degree again 70 and the angle I'm going to take it as 30 again 70 angle I'm going to take it as 90 then I'm going to connect back to the first position over here so that we are going to get a vertical uh, figure of this line uh, that is nothing but the square and then we know that the thickness this is going to be a horizontal line so let me draw a horizontal uh, line so not the horizontal so here again it is supposed to be a 30 degree line because this is also a, a horizontal line which is drawn at 30 degree to the horizontal now we'll draw 30 degree at an angle of uh, 150 degree and then uh, again, six, uh, 70 millimeter and angle of minus 30 will get back to this position. And again, the length is 70, angle is 30. So we are going to get this lines over here. And after which at the center over here, we are supposed to construct a cylinder. Now to construct a cylinder of vertical position, horizontal position, again, we will construct a square of 35, 19, and then uh, 35, angle is uh, 30. Then again 35, angle is minus 90, then we will connect back to the first position. And then now you can see this is the vertical cylinder, the construction. Now for which using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13, we'll do certain construction lines like this, uh, which is going to construct the ellipse. Now these constructions are necessary to draw the ellipse over there. Now after drawing these construction lines uh, using arc by center point command, using this as the center and uh, this line as the radius we are going to draw an arc like this and again this as the center this point as the radius we are going to draw one more arc over here and this as the center and this as the radius we are going to draw one more arc over here and repeat the same step over here so one can draw the four arcs uh, which is going to represent a ellipse where the circle is going to be represented by a ellipse and once the arc is drawn using a line command let me draw a diagonal line to get the center point properly and the same diagonal line here also i'm going to draw it and after which uh, we know that the length of the sol solid is 40 millimeter so for which uh, let me change the thickness to 0 0.13 now let me draw an axis line whose length is measuring in this direction as 40 millimeter at an angle of minus 30 degree. Now you can see this is going to be the required uh, length of this horizontal cylinder. Now I'm going to select the ellipse. So sorry, uh, the selection was unchecked. So let me get that uh, ellipse. And then make use of a command called as move. Move that ellipse with uh, this end point and reposition at this end point, but make sure that the copy should be on. Otherwise we have to repeat the step and then using a line command so with the uh, midpoint to the midpoint we can draw a line and again uh, so this is supposed to be a continuous line with 0 0.5 on thing so midpoint to the midpoint so we will draw one more line so this is going to complete the construction of the required uh, horizontal cylinder of uh, diameter 35 millimeter and axis length uh, 50 millimeter and now the construction lines uh, can be retained if required otherwise it can be deleted now using the trim command the invisible portions of the cylinder is also going to be deleted then make use of a move command uh, move copy is off now uh, move this cylinder with respect to the end point over here and that is going to be portion on the midpoint of the diagonal line which we have created over here that is like this now one can see that the problem is completed as per our requirement then using the trim command uh, so whatever the portion which is going to be come behind this uh, lines can be trimmed off then 
this is going to be the required isometric uh, view or isometric drawing now using a scale command we will reduce it to isometric projection using the scale factor of 0.8164 now one can say that the isometric projections of the given combination is completed in all aspects so if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me and also if you have liked this video please press the like button and also you can uh, subscribe to youtube channel and you can share this videos and also if you are interested you can click on the bell icon so that you will be getting more and more video updates as and when it is going to be uploaded in my youtube channel once again thank you very much for watching my videos guys